And I'm sitting here thinking, uh, I never thought I'd do two of these in a day. Uh, but uh, a thing came out today, uh, and I think it's related to some of the other things that we've been talking about and thinking about in our industry. So I'll take a minute to talk about it here this way because it's easiest for me to do that, and then we'll I'll write a little something up. So today, uh, on top of all the things we've been going through as an industry, uh, a 9.8 uh, CVSS uh, vulnerability was released in uh, Apache HTTPD server. And already the memes are kind of flying around and it's 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 huge. It's right. Like we've I've seen the picture of the train. I probably could have dug it up. The picture of the train plowing through the bus, right? Like in in the internet is on fire again and people are, are starting to like go into total freak out mode and everyone's running around like the sky is falling. And uh I thought this is a great time to talk about this, right? Kind of continue the uh the the discussion from earlier. So I honestly think that CVSS3 is broken uh, from a scoring standpoint, right? So uh, it, I, I fully agree the, with the fact that this is a CVSS 9.8 or very critical bug uh, in Apache. However, that is only a bug if you use Mod Lua, and, and that is a very non-default configuration in, in Apache. Right, so not only do you have to be using Mod Lua, you have to be using the parse body, our parse body uh, function inside of your script for this to be vulnerable, right? So, so yeah, this is a full RCE, right? Like, but it's an RCE that uh, the exploitability or the the stars that have to align for this to actually be present in a problem in a stack is uh, is very high. Right. So this, I think, is a problem where uh, this whole SBOM or software bill of materials movement is going to struggle. Right. So at what point do we go too far? Right. So so we note in my software bill of materials that uh, we use Apache. Right. Do we note that we use Mod Lua or not? Right. In our Apache configuration, do we have to call out every single module we have enabled in Apache? Right. At it, 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 some point or another, it, it starts to be so much information that uh, trying to figure out how to parse through it is, is going to be a problem. And so I, I still think this is an unsolved problem. So the, the takeaway to uh, MSPs and small businesses or anyone else that might be listening to this message, see if your apps use Apache. If they do, quickly check the configuration file, see if it's using Mod Lua. It's probably not. If it's not, move on with your life. Right. This shouldn't be a weekend destroying event. It shouldn't be a Christmas destroying event. Right. This should be a relatively quick thing for people to get through. You're going to find it in WAMP lamp situations. Uh, but the number of places that I think actually use Lua are probably pretty low. Uh, again, this ties into burnout, the whole burnout discussion I was having. Right. Because, again, we're we're getting the whole InfoSec community running around with like chickens with their heads cut off and their hair is on fire and all those other things we say uh, in the MSP community, which is listening closely to the security community, uh, oftentimes doesn't have the, no the knowledge to know uh, whether they also should be doing the same. Uh, so I'm here to tell you that in this case, do the things I said, uh, check internet exposed first. If it's internet exposed, it runs Apache, check the config, if no mod Lua, move on with life. Uh, and that's it. Thanks.